Good afternoon, friends. Stephen Benoon here with Israeli News Live. And as we can already see, what I reported to you earlier today uh, is, in fact, uh, already starting to make news. Yahoo News covering the Wagner Group uh, uh, boss Prigozhin claims he and his forces are entering Russia vowing to destroy anyone that gets in their way. This, of course, after an alleged attack on his forces, uh, his forces for hire that left 2,000 of them dead, and it being blamed on the Russian military that that was actually happening. Uh, the Wagner Group founder, Prigozhin, claimed his mercenary troops were entering Russia early Saturday morning as the country appeared to be battening down for a fight. Uh, he said in a triggered panic on Friday as he slammed Russian's evil defense ministry in a series of social media statements and included a pledge to take up arms against the agency following allegations the government ministry conducted a missile strike that killed a number of his for hire fighters. Uh, so this is something that is going on. In fact, uh, through intelligence that I was getting from Israel, I wanted to find out what they may know about the situation and uh, amongst other intel that I was receiving already this evening on this whole issue there. But I'm going to share with you a little bit of uh, some of the things that was being stated right out of Israel about this particular incident. Said that the Wagner Group has turned on the Russian military and is requesting support uh, from the West and Israel. But Israel feels this is uh, some sort of diversion or game or double cross. Uh, Israel wants Russia out of Syria so they can have a free hand uh, into giving them a, as he put it, kosher democracy. Now, with that being said, also, uh, I've been hearing through other intel sources there that Germany, the United States, uh, but more so Germany and a couple of other NATO nations have actually been supportive of the Wagner Group and doing a coup d'etat and overthrowing the government there because Germany had intel that they would actually be struck by Russian forces uh, sometime either in the summer or the fall. Uh, so they are very much uh, interested and toppling the Russian government uh, from within, creating this particular tactic. Uh, one thing I can tell you for sure, if Putin does get the upper hand over the Wagner Group, which I would assume he will, there will definitely be a retaliation against the West like you could never even believe. Uh, more information that I would found as well is that the, um, uh, that the U.S. banksters uh, were behind or are behind this uh, uh, trying to get all the natural resources of Russia and uh, another thing that was shared with me is that the the US had actually sold out the South China Seas Taiwan and uh, Southeast Asia to the Chinese at the tune of 20 trillion dollars now this comes from a very high up banking source in the Middle East there that knew about those events there and knew for the last 10 to 20 years the US had been selling out the 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 Far East there and like I said including Taiwan and other nations the Philippines etc this is why China is taking over that area and the and they were paid in gold that 20 trillion dollars and now we've already spent that money and so now allegedly we are going after the Russian money. Uh, also a source said to me that the Russian and Chinese navies were dispatched to Venezuela in order to protect their gold from being stolen by the U.S. Uh, to back up the Western bankers there. Uh, this being information too that I was getting from a very high person uh, in the Swiss banking system there that has always been very much in the know, uh, information that I've always trusted as well. So this situation, the coup d'etat, definitely appears to be going on. I have other reached out to other sources there uh, in the Middle East and other places trying to find out who may or uh, may know more about this coup d'etat, what it means. Uh, we have actually two, by the way, we have loaded up uh, two very, well, one very, very, uh, one beautiful testimonial video over on uh, our Patreon channel, uh, but also a, a very serious threat that the nation is, is facing here. Uh, I speak more on Patreon about that anthrax 
uh, threat that I told you guys already about. Uh, eventually, I'll probably make that public here as well. But right now, it is over on Patreon. I got more information about that tonight as well. And I am going to be releasing over there on Patreon too uh, some intel that actually comes from three different sources. Uh, and that is uh, Uma. Uma will be returning. And uh, of course, that, that has been confirmed. And the attack that we will be uh, facing from uh, reptilians, different species of reptilians, that also coming up in the near future. I'll probably be releasing that one tomorrow tonight. I release two videos on Patreon, but uh, tomorrow I'll be sharing that with you in the morning here on uh, uh, over on Patreon, that information there. And as soon as I get more information about this coup d'etat uh, that this man here is launched against the Russian government, uh, and just see how successful he may or may not be. He is calling for defectors. Uh, Hal Turner, I believe, is the first one that actually published this news. Uh, so we certainly appreciate Hal Turner bringing that out there. Uh, and, you know, it is, like I said, it is uh, since we put this out, and of course, and maybe ABC brought this out before we did, but the Wagner Marseille chief calls for armed rebellion against the Russian military leadership. Uh, that, that being on ABC News there. So uh, let me just play this clip here for us real Claiming quick. his fighters were attacked by the regular Russian army. ABC's chief foreign correspondent, Ian Panel, on the front lines again tonight. Tonight, a major crisis unfolding in Russia. The leader of Russia's paramilitary Wagner group fighting in Ukraine, calling for an armed rebellion against senior members of Russia's military leadership. Yevgeny Prigozhin, in a long-running feud with Russian Defense Minister Shoigu and other commanders, releasing this unverified video claiming his troops were attacked today by the regular Russian army. The Russian Defense Ministry calling the accusation a lie, and the powerful FSB intelligence agency tonight opening a criminal case against Prigozhin. But the Wagner leader warning that the military leadership of Russia must be stopped, saying he has 25,000 men behind him. Meanwhile, on the ground, Putin's men trying to resist Ukrainian attacks on multiple fronts. ABC News given this video from troops who say it was filmed inside an American-made Bradley fighting vehicle. Watch as a Ukrainian gun fires at Russian positions appearing to destroy a military vehicle. We were taken to one of the areas where Ukraine launched its counter-offensive, Velka Novosilka in the south, which has been heavily pounded by Putin's forces. In the surrounding countryside, a French artillery weapon fires towards Russian positions just a few miles away. One thing we can tell you as well, though, NATO has definitely entered into this battle against Russia. And it seems to be this is one of the reasons why we see this coup d'etat. And obviously the Wagner military leader there, no doubt being promised some very heavy support, like I said, from Germany and other uh, leaders there, to help fight against his own people, his own Russian military. If you remember, his group, the Wagner Group also had enlisted many of the prisoners out of Russia to help fight uh, the battles there in Ukraine. And uh, so that's kind of an interesting point as well. They certainly would have uh, a vendetta against the Russian government and no doubt would turn on the Russian government as well and be willing to fight behind the, uh, the leader of the Wagner Group there. Uh, they're being promised democracy and freedom like that of the West. But uh, as our uh, source there out of the Middle East said there, you always get these false promises. They'll never carry through with them. It is only uh, just to lure them into a trap. Uh, and, and again, like I said, New World Order, who the heck knows what's going to happen next, but it's not looking good. I'm Steve Benoon. You're watching Israeli News Live. We'll keep you updated as much as possible as these uh, events develop.